How's it going guys, Tactics HD here bringing you a quick video showing you guys the new NHL 14 roster update. So this update guys is actually for October 11th, 2013. So if you guys don't know, uh, to get this uh, roster update, all you gotta do is quickly go to roster management, go all the way down to the bottom to download rosters. You guys will see it's the newest roster there, October 11th. Click A, click download, and uh, it'll download for you. Alright guys, so once it's finished downloading, all you gotta do is uh, save it as your new roster and then you'll be good to go. And uh, you can go and use the uh, newly updated players in NHL 14. So we'll go take a look at all the new players, stat changes, etc. Alright guys, so quickly I'm just going to go through and show you some of the key updates of this roster update. So first guys on Anaheim, uh, we have them adding Matthew Perro. If you remember in that Washington deal, I think they got him for like a prospect and a late pick. They may have even just gone for the pick. Uh, Boston, I don't believe anything here has changed. Uh, Buffalo, same thing. I don't think anything's changed. Uh, Calgary, a couple moves. Obviously adding those two young centers. Uh, Sean Monaghan making the team 77 overall. So he's got a little bit of a stat boost there. I think he was like a 64 or something uh, at, the, you know, at the beginning of the game, obviously. But because he's playing in the AHL, they have to give him that stat boost. Otherwise, it just wouldn't make sense having him on the team. As well, they have Joe Colburn here from the Toronto deal. 75 overall, 3.5 star potential. Uh, next, guys, Carolina. I think we have a couple moves here. Um, I'm not sure uh, later down here. Eliash Lindholm, I don't believe, was on the team before. 72 overall, 4-star goal potential there. And I think that's it. I'm pretty sure they already had Commissarek and Gerby on the Carolina roster. Uh, Chicago, I don't believe any moves were made there. Uh, Colorado, obviously, one of the bigger moves here is uh, obviously adding Nathan McKinnon to the Colorado uh, roster. Sorry, 79 overall, 4.5-star green potential. So that's pretty insane. I think that's uh, Colorado's only move. Columbus, I don't believe there's any changes. Same with Dallas. Uh, same with Detroit, I didn't see anything there. Uh, Edmonton, a couple moves, nothing really major though. Uh, just adding a couple enforcers there, McIntyre and Gadget. Uh, Florida, I don't think, I think like all their free agent signings were up to date, uh, last roster update, but they do have Alexander Barkov now on the roster, 77 overall, 4 and star goal potential, and I don't know if they had Thomas uh, in goal before, but he's now there. As you guys can see, 76 overall, so uh, I think 10 overall points less than he was last time. I think he was 86 last time he was on Boston. Um, LA, I don't believe there's any changes. Uh, same with Minnesota, I'm pretty sure they already had everyone on there. I know Matt Dumb is now in Minnesota, but I think they already had him there before the this opt roster update. Uh, Montreal, I believe it's all the same. Nashville, obviously adding another one of their young guns in uh, Seth Jones. So, 77 overall, Seth Jones, 4 star green potential. So, uh, you know, not as good as McKinnon, 2 overall points less, but he's still looking pretty good. Uh, New Jersey, I believe, is all the same. Same with the Islanders. Uh, Rangers looked good. Ottawa, Philly, Phoenix, uh, Pittsburgh. San Jose, obviously. Uh, we have to have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Hurdle, uh, 80 overall, so actually the highest uh, rating of all the rookies uh, with 49 star gold potential, so that's pretty insane there for Thomas Hurdle. Uh, St. Louis, don't believe there's any changes. Uh, Tampa Bay, I think there was just a couple minor changes. Uh, they now have Richard Panic in the lineup. I don't know if they had him before. He was in the A last year. Uh, they also have some other AHL players down here that I believe weren't included in the lineup before. Uh, Toronto, I didn't see any changes. Or actually, there's one. Uh, like Minnesota, they just have a prospect defenseman up here, Morgan Riley. Uh, you know, he might not make the team. There's still, uh, you know, six games left or whatever until he hits a nine-game cap and they could send him down. Uh, Vancouver, a couple changes here. Uh, I'm not sure if Santorelli was on the team before this roster update, and it's pretty hard to keep track of everything. I'm pretty sure Richardson was. Uh, Zach Dolph wasn't, though. Obviously, they made that recent trade there with Carolina, and uh, the rest of the team looks good. Uh, Washington, I uh, don't believe Washington has any uh, changes, so I think they're still good. And then Winnipeg just has the one change, and that's uh, having, where is he? There he uh, Jacob Truba as well. They have Mark Schleifley, both now on the team. A couple of rookies have made the team. Truba, 78, four-star goal potential. Schleifley is 77 with four-star goal potential. So that's your guys' roster update. So basically, they just added the rookies that have made the teams to the NHL. Uh, most of these rookies will probably stay in the NHL, but there's a few. Like, I'd see probably... Dumba, Riley, basically mainly the defensemen, I think, will probably get sent back down to juniors. As uh, just, you know, there's less ice time for the defensemen. It's also a lot harder to um, grow as a defenseman and, you know, make the quick jump to the NHL. Obviously, Seth Jones will probably stay, but a lot of defensemen I see going down. But besides that, uh, that's pretty much it for the roster update. A couple of small uh, trades there, but, you know, at least you get to use uh, the new young rookies in the game, which is obviously something everyone looks forward to. Anyway, guys, that's it for this roster update. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to stay tuned for our NHL 14 videos, and have a nice day, guys. Goodbye. <laughs> It's the kind of beat the goal.